Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I am moving my ladder out of my way and setting my timer. Welcome to my mascot. It's an alligator. I wish it was a dragon. Anyway, like I said, my timer is set. I have a pre-primed black 12 by 24 inch canvas. But I think what I want to do, other than wish that that dog hair was not there, is... Uh, Add another layer of black paint. Use my OXO omelet turning spatula to see how quickly I can spread it around. Making sure I have my tweezers somewhere here to pull out anything that happens to be anomalous. This turntable inside I love. I have more clearance here than I do outside by far. And Today it's cooler, inside anyway, so I am, I see that hair, I am able to paint without having the fan on, which will reduce the noise, but you can hear the birds singing in the water, <laughs> the brook babbling. Hopefully that will help break up the background a little bit. So what I really want to do, I should have done first, duh which is make up, put colors in a pan of colors. I think I'm going to be kind of willy-nilly because I was inspired by today's artwork, which was called It's a Keeper or something similar. I do still have a bucket in here, so I'm going to scrape off my paint, put my spatula in the bucket, grab a container, making sure it's somewhat dust-free, and it is better than it was a moment ago. Here. Always good to keep a damp sponge and a wet rag in your studio for sure. So let's just go ahead and put a bunch of color that I love. That is 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana. That's Flow Troll. I didn't shake these because I don't like the paint to go up into the nozzle if I can help it. This is a Deco Art Americana. Um, Berry metallic, and um, the last one had orange in it. This was the Decorated Americana. That um, that is a fire opal, or is it from Folk Art Treasures? I am gonna. I did find my black enamel, and I'm going to put some of that in here as soon as yes. I'm kind of thinking if I put just a dribble everywhere, it will affect all the paint. And that might be kind of cool. I don't know about that turquoise. What else? I'm looking for slightly more demure colors than, than I usually use. And I want that thing out of there. I have some my tweezers. Yes, I got it. Cool. That was that. I don't like these little caps because they always get full of stuff. This looks like a color shift um, from Folk Art that was probably blue and I added something else to it from a unicorn spit line. That might seem like an interesting combination and so it is, especially before I shake it. Let's see, what else, what else? Yeah, I want to just get way outside my comfort zone right now with some interesting colors. Not that I probably won't morph back <laughs> to just exactly where I was before. I'm going to top all this up with some, some gold I made a while back that was a combination of things. This is not the Deco Art 24 karat gold. I think it's a folk art and something else. So I am really liking adding the purple that's neon from folk art that's a multi-surface acrylic. And I'm going to throw a little bit of, can I find it? Yes, the white metallic. I find that no matter what you think or I think, that the more random the colors are, the better off I am. And I found a bottle that's not open, and that's too bad because I really want some of this color in there. And it has lots of paint dried in its threads, so give me a moment. These are some odd-looking colors, but... They're not that dissimilar than what I usually use. Let's give that a, 
and we're dripping. All right, we can start where we start and we can add to it at that point. I think I'm just going to go for... Oh, you know what? I found the fire opal from, from Folk Art Treasures. And that's it right there. It looks like some of the other coppers to me a lot. I guess I wasn't done. <laughs> Nobody is surprised. So rather than grab a dustpan, which is what was my original plan, I think I'm just going to go ahead, take that out, remove the dog hair from my tweezers, bring that back and hope that it's all in sight. And this time, I think I want a lot more white. And I want to go way, way outside my comfort zone and fill the canvas full of, oh, look at all those bubbles. Wow. Why don't I go ahead and start from the other way. This time, with lots of negative space, I probably interrupted myself. I want to, um, to definitely tilt. Not necessarily doing anything I've done exactly like before, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. But I do like making lines with squeeze bottles, so I figure I should, I should probably be able to make lines with a shovel too. I definitely recommend this. This is a lot of fun. Just be wild. Don't make a plan. I've got plenty of paint left, I think. And if I put down puddles, then they will spread when I tilt. I don't even know if I can get away with a tilt. Usually, I would probably tilt little, you know, sections at a time. But since I put that enamel in there, I really want to see if I can make something interesting happen. Like I said, this is based on a video that I posted earlier, or that got aired earlier today. I see an awful lot of things that look like that, ah, and it was a bubble. Which reminds me, I do forge to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Do I need another color in there? I kind of like it the way it is. I'm going to scrape up. Now, you see my container is just a piece of plastic that came as part of packaging. And I see no reason why people should have to waste all the stuff that's great trash. <laughs> I like to recycle, what can I say? I wish I never had to throw anything away at all, to tell you the truth. Save the oceans and all that good stuff, for sure. I really want to um, grab one of my Princeton Archel Catalyst spatulas and use the paint I've got wherever it will go. And I'm thinking that I like this blue, but if I scrape this down with the Princeton Archel Catalyst spatula, before I do that, then I won't be mixing the blue in to make more blue mud. Uh, this is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters. I'm not sure what the other blue is. I think it's a variation on the theme because I tend tend to like to um, add unicorn spit to things and change them up. I hope I don't hate this. <laughs> but I can always also use a skewer. And where is my purple flash from Folk Art? which I can never really get enough of anyway. It's different. <laughs> I'm not sure I like it yet. But sometimes it takes me a day or two to love something. And then I fall right hard in love. All right, so it's not totally awesome, and I could definitely use a, uh, an edge catcher. Let's grab that from over here and see what happens. It's not without coolness. It has cool, a coolness factor. But I would 
love, I mean, it becomes such accidental art when you start to tilt. Every single direction. Oh, I have a stretcher bar in the middle of the back. See? <laughs> Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. You know, I'm being called to some minty green. It's called something else now that I tried to restock it. Uh, a color shift from Folk Art. And it, somehow I think that will be cool. I hope so, because this isn't really thrilling me right now. And it just makes me want to swipe. Green or gold? Oh, the green is better. I like the green. It's kind of wild. <laughs> what can I do to this? I could do chain to this. I actually have some chain. I gotta put my tools in the bucket. Hang on. So let's have some fun with chain since I'm not done with my warming up period, getting used to working inside. That one's too long. Well, it is, is for the moment. And. I think this could be really cool. I did suggest for the uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group challenge, I did suggest chain, but then I love chain. That's reminding me of dragons. You know what? I'm going to find myself a little container and put some water in it. And put my used chain in there. Because that seems like a good way to keep it from hardening. There's a lot of copper in here, so there's definitely a danger level of creating a lot of mud. But it'll be shiny, pretty, bronzy mud. <laughs> And I love the chains because they add such dimension to things. I wish, I kind of wish that I had used a lot more white because that definitely does some interesting things to me. This is kind of cool. Still want the white. I think I might be almost done. I like the combination of the chain marks in, uh, with the puddle dribbles or shovel dribbles, whatever I want to call them. My background noise is working to help calm me. It's, it's, uh, it's better than dead silence. So that's, that went from being something I didn't like to something I like a lot. And I'm pretty happy that I had a chance to do that. And I'm sure somebody's going to tell me they don't like the the muddy brown, but like I said, all those muddy browns are made from copper and fire opal and other things. And I could put some gold in there. I want to try some gold. I, I'm not sure I'll be super pleased with myself if I don't try it, so I'm going to try it. And I'm going to use, I'm going to grab the dirty end of this chain. What? I got links all bound up. So I like the gold. It might have been a little bit hasty with that mark. But that sometimes making mistakes is the definite way when you're trying to fix them. You get creative with how you might want to uh, change something up. I do like putting the spirals in. I still want some white, but I'm not sure I really, really need it as much as I just am feeling like I'm unsure. To 
just adding the line without creating any marks. It's very viney. <laughs> I liked it at the time, but I need to break it up now. Well, that's not bad. I'm going to use this white and see how I like it. Oh, I made it disappear. Darn. Sometime I'm going to combine all my all my different methods. Use a basting brush with the chain and what have you. I definitely want something over here. Where's that white? Give it a try. I don't mind when the chain doesn't create an equidistant mark or, or the same pattern because it just adds interest as far as I'm concerned. I think a little bit more and I should call it good because I think at that point I will come as close as I need to come to overdoing it. But it's already pretty intense as it is. And even though it's bronze, it's not a waste. Okay, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, remember to like my video with your thumbs up. Really, I really appreciate that. If you share my videos, I, it's a big help. If you watch the videos longer, it helps my placement on YouTube and more people will get a chance to see me and receive notifications. If you're not getting notifications, you might want to just figure out that I post my videos most days, weekdays at 11.30 a.m and find me. I'm going to use a torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint. And uh, I actually really like this. It's a lot on the paisley side, but I've done that before and I don't mind. I'm not sure I'll be tilting again, but I'll definitely be shoveling again. And maybe next time I'll do it with the uh, dustpan instead. So I have over 1,400 videos and you can find them organized by genre and by topic and by the hundred on my YouTube channel playlists, all playlists from and created playlists. I love you guys. There's almost 89,000 of you. Whoop, whoop. And that's cool. Look under the video for Teespring clothing. All of her print leggings and t-shirts can be found there. And under the link tree, the, the top blue link, you can find the Amazon link, the Pinterest link, the Twitter link, the Instagram link, and a link to PayPal. If you want to be in this month's drawing, look for the PayPal link and use it. And you'll automatically be eligible and included in the monthly drawing and there are four paintings I believe in this month and they change every month and the sort of the videos and the end screens that you can find in the last 20 seconds of any video yeah I'm putting a few spirals in but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything it's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> and why not I love my skewers with the um, with the paintballs on the end because they make great tools. That might not, not, might have, not have been perfect. Um, so I got one minute left to tell you whatever I forgot and there's always plenty of stuff. Facebook groups Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. On, uh, on the Amazon link you're going to find both of my books. One is called Because I Can and the other one is called Unlimited Possibilities. Uh, any shopping you do anywhere is a big assistance to me. The Amazon link will help you find the OXO omelet turning spatulas and it's at no added cost to you when you shop there and it helps keep me buying art supplies and um, I love you guys totally look for uh, Facebook groups Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, fans and collectors for the edited artworks from YouTube and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more will take you via the shop now link to pixels.com and find in America where I've been posting since 2013 and have more than a thousand items there. I do sell my artwork and I do give lessons and the email address is right under the link tree. I'm going to torch one more time to make sure the bubbles are gone from my paint and my paint pouring description is underneath the video. Thank you guys for all 